we are given force as a sinusoidal function and we need to find the distance covered by the particle as a function of time so we'll write force in the form of dv by dt then integrate it once to get velocity and then integrate it again to get displacement as a function of time now we need to find distance but what we have got is displacement but one thing we can see here is this is the velocity and you can see that cos omega t is always less than 1 which means velocity is always positive that means displacement is equal to distance so what we have found here displacement that is same as distance so we are going to plot the same curve so how we will plot is so let's plot them individually so this is t which is a straight line and then we have a sine omega t by omega that goes like this so this is a minus sign so that's why it goes down first then it comes up and goes like this so we need to add this t and minus sine omega t by omega so when we add these two the curve will look like this so at any instant the distance is always increasing so the slope of this curve this yellow curve is always positive yeah